It's a dream come true. The Chili Peppers have released their second album of 2022, Return of the Dream Canteen. And here's my take on this record. So people at first reacted that they either didn't like it at all, or that it's their best album in 20 years. Now I don't feel that strongly about it. They have perfect records like Stadium Arcadium, and of course the previous record of the year, Unlimited Love, which I still like quite a bit more. But what this year's music from the band has taught me is not to compare too much and take up too much headspace thinking about these things. Since if you like some music, just listen to it, enjoy it. And just like most of the Red Hot Chili Peppers albums, this new one is super enjoyable anytime, any place. And it's already on non-stop rotation for me. So it is really incredible. Let's dive into it. Now, this record is definitely their most experimental record ever, and they really had the time to dive deep, and they no longer need to worry about big hits or record sales, so they can do whatever they want. And that's exactly what they did here across a whole range of genres. But at the same time, the whole record has a relaxed and psychedelic feel to it. Now, so they had some electronic songs in it, or rhythms in the background on songs like My Cigarette and In the Snow. They've had their heavier, heaviest songs ever with Bags of Grins and Carry Me Home. So you really get a full range of sounds on this record while still feeling that psychedelic theme in the background of it all. The first single, Tip of My Tongue, I didn't love too much at first. It didn't have that anthemic big chorus feel of Black Summer that instantly takes over your mind. But it grew on me over time and now it is in my mind and it's such a unique song, so funky, so out there. And it's really amazing how deep they've dug and how different these two records are released in the same year and written over the same two years period and recorded in the same two year period. So it's super incredible how different they are when you'd expect it to be more of the same. And they've certainly delivered a super unique record here that really stands up to the test. If Unlimited Love was Flea's baby, you could say this is John Frusciante's baby. He's really all over it. Not to say that all the members aren't really at their very, very best here. And even more so than them, the singer Anthony Kiedis delivers in every song some unique lyrics, melodies, and really his best vocals, as he's such a beautiful example of someone becoming better over time. As is the band a perfect example of a band becoming so good over time. Way better than where they started. So to conclude, this record is super, super amazing, worth listen many times over. You won't be disappointed. I want to put my favorite song on the record in the background, Bella, which is really instantly one of my favorite Chili Pepper songs ever. And it just has that classic, super catchy chorus you can't help but sing along to no matter when it plays. I'll be singing along to that, along with the rest of the songs, very soon as they're already creeping into my mind and influencing my life going forward, as all the records do. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.